Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. I hope your Ramadan is going really, really well, inshallah. I just want to take a few moments of your time to explain uh, the National Zakah Foundation Ramadan campaign uh, this year in 2015. Our campaign this year has a very simple message, which is that zakah begins at home. What does this mean? It means that when we pay our zakah, we must think about, we must in, in fact prioritize those who are eligible zakah recipients within our own community, within the country in which we live. And now there are three key reasons for this. First and foremost, because this was the original and the classical principle of the collection and distribution of zakah funds. The Prophet ﷺ famously encouraged the companion Mu'adhi and Jabal to collect the zakah from those, the people of Yemen and to redistribute it amongst the people of Yemen. Secondly, the issue of rights. We talk about zakah being the right of the poor. And the fact of the matter is, as we at the National Zakah Foundation know, there are thousands of people in poverty, in destitution, in the streets, in the cities, in the communities around us who are eligible to receive zakah. Remember, eligibility is not something that I set or you set. The eligibility to receive zakah is a defined measure. And there are thousands of people who fall under that threshold that make them eligible to receive zakah. And if zakah is a right of the poor, then who else is going to meet the needs of eligible zakah recipients in the UK except for zakah payers in the UK? It isn't just an option, it is a collective obligation. And finally, there, it comes down to us, our sense of community. Do we want our community to be one in which those who are in difficulty and in need within our community feel unsupported and feel a lack of empathy from those who are better off? We don't want this to be the case. The reality is that every day in the evenings in the mosques, when the mosques are filled for tarawih prayers, for example, in every masjid, there will be at least a few people, if not in fact many people in some areas, who are in real difficulty. And right next to them, they may be praying right next to somebody who is, mashallah, in relative prosperity. We at the National Zakah Foundation act to connect the zakah payers and zakah recipients within our community. So remember, zakah begins at home. And when you discharge your obligation of zakah this year, and if you do so in this Ramadan, don't forget those on your own doorstep and entrust the National Zakah Foundation to collect and distribute your zakah funds to those who are most deserving within the UK. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa